while the media cannot decide if the recession is nearing its end or not we do know that there has not been a tremendous surge in wages job creation or the stock market consequently most of us are staying pretty conservative on our spending here are a few relatively simple ways to keep an eye on your spending while you are waiting for that brighter economic future to arrive schedule automatic payments have your fixed monthly bills paid automatically to avoid missing a payment and having to fork over extra money for late fees and or interest you can set up auto pay features through your bank's online bill paying service or by arranging it directly with the company or service provider you owe bundle services if you are paying different vendors for similar services you may be overpaying call your communications providers to see what price you will be quoted if you switch and bundle your internet phone and cable tv services mark your calendar whenever you rent something library books videos etc mark it on your calendar and save money by avoiding those quickly mounting late fees many stores and libraries also now offer email reminders to help the constantly hurried so sign up for the extra help roll it over if you are switching jobs and you cannot leave your 401k invested with your current company instead of withdrawing the money roll it into either your new employer's 401k or an ira within the 60 day window by doing so you will keep the money invested and earning interest and avoid those nasty taxes as well as the additional 10% penalty switch credit cards if you are carrying a balance on a high interest rate credit card check out other card issuers to see if you could transfer your balance to one with a lower interest rate and fewer fees use sites like creditcard.com or bankrate.com to compare card rates and pay careful attention to how long those terms last so you do not wind up paying a higher rate and erasing any potential savings speak up if you had like to save money just ask why not ask if you can get the interest rate lower on your credit cards or loans you could also ask for a discount on services like your wireless phone trash removal or pet care instead of switching to another vendor and do try to haggle with sales people on any big ticket purchases like cars appliances and furniture in a tight economy it might be worth the sellers while to cut the price instead of losing the sale and you will both benefit in the end just say no to the extended warranty that is these hardly ever make financial sense they the repair or replacement cost and if you would even need or want to repair or replace the item down the road again is the cost of the warranty and graciously pass when offered balance your checkbook it might take a few minutes but it's something you should be doing anyway and it can pay huge dividends by helping you avoid bouncing a check and incurring steep overdraft fees not to mention a little embarrassment pay off your credit card if you are not paying off your credit card balance each month you are paying interest and for most americans it's at a pretty steep rate pay this debit off and you could save a td sum by eliminating your interest charges stick with your bank when withdrawing cash drive or walk the extra minute it takes to use your bank's atm and avoid the fee that could come with another bank's machine better yet switch to a bank that doesn't charge fees at all